Clara. <clears throat> um, I want to welcome everybody to the uh, preview of our 36th semester of classes at Encore Learning. Uh, we, we are continuing to grow with over a thousand members and uh, we're getting more confident in our transition to online learning. Uh, this semester, all of our courses are going to be offered virtually as will next semesters uh, in the spring of 2021. Uh, after that, our future may include a blend of hybrid, virtual and in-person classes, all of which will be determined. And on that subject, we would very much welcome your feedback as to what, what the members prefer. You've all used Zoom and you are on it right now, but if you, if you want help with Zoom, just go to our website and do a search for Zoom to find our Zoom resources. We're also offering a Zoom Hangout uh, to review course registration and accessing your course materials. Uh, this would be especially valuable for new members. Uh, the links and other details to the Zoom Hangout will be emailed to all members this afternoon. Uh, we are planning uh, to uh, ongoing Zoom Hangouts, and I know there's a lot more of these, and you can always join us for our free Encore Learning Presents programs, which uh, occur on, on uh, mo many Mondays at 3 p.m. Uh, our next such program is going to be on September 28th and is going to present a timely discussion of the upcoming election process. Let me just add for those who have registered for courses before, uh, be advised that there will be no changes in that process from prior years. Uh, now the online course registration will start this Monday, August 31st at 10 a.m. sharp. Uh, and please don't be dismayed if you, if you get a notice that a course you want is full and you've been put on the waiting list. The course capacities are all at the discretion of the instructors and because we are virtual may be increased. Members also change their mind and spots open up. Also, if joining Encore Learning and taking courses will cause anyone a financial hardship, we would be glad to offer a scholarship. Just contact any member of our staff. We are hosting clubs and special events virtually, uh, except for the kayak club, which is hitting the water but socially distancing safely as they paddle on the Potomac. Uh, please check our website for the most current information about what's happening at Encore Learning. Uh, our Monday, um, finally, uh, let me just say, Encore Learning could not function without about 150 members who are volunteers, who staff our committees and coordinate our clubs. Please consider volunteering. Uh, we need we need fresh voices always. Uh, I also want to thank our many current volunteers and hardworking staff for helping us pivot to virtual learning, particularly the members of our academic program committee, the 40 members who serve as virtual class aides, and 43 volunteer instructor, instructors. Uh, our program today is hosted by our academic program committee chairs Barbara Spangler and Jeannie Labella. They will introduce each segment of the program. We're going to be joined by George Mason Dean uh, uh, and head of the Shar School, Mark Roselle, and GMU's brand new president, Gregory Washington, around 10 a.m. There's going to be a break in programming about uh, around 1045, and we're going to entertain questions at that time. So let's get to the courses with the first segment introduced by Barbara Spangler. Over to you, Barb. Thanks, Tom. Jean and I are co-chairing the uh, Academic Programs Committee, and we are delighted to welcome you today to this first experience for us, a virtual course preview. 34 courses, some live, some pre-recorded, some with scripts that we have prepared for those who are unable to join us. I, we're already planning, believe it or not, for spring 2021. So even as we look at fall courses, we hope you'll share your ideas for both course instructors and courses with us so that we can hopefully address them in upcoming semesters for Encore Learning. Jean, how about you? Any thoughts you'd like to share? Thanks, Barb. Um, thank you everyone for being here. It's great to see which such a great turnout. I just want to say thank you first to all of our instructors. Uh, as most of you know, our instructors are all volunteers, and it's amazing that we have such a rich offering of course content uh, from volunteer instructors. They're, they give very generously of their time. 
and I want to thank them for that. Um, I also want to thank the members who have stepped forward to be virtual class aides to help us manage course presentations in the upcoming term by being there to assist the instructors with visuals and other Zoom issues. Um, several members have stepped forward, they've gone through the training and they're ready to, to uh, be aides for our coming fall term. Barb? Sorry, sorry about that, I was muted. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Let's get started. We have lots of courses to look at. And our first session will be focusing on fine arts, theater, and music. So let's get going here. Look at all these great courses. It's amazing. So. Very pleased to introduce Dr. Mark J. Rosell, the founding dean at the Shar School of Policy and Government at George Mason University. Dr. Rosell is a distinguished academician and talented administrator. He holds the Ruth and John T. Hazel Chair in Public Policy at Mason. He is a prolific author with nine published books and editor of 20 additional books on various topics in US government and politics, including the presidency, religion and politics, media and politics, and interest groups and elections. Dean Roselle writes frequent opinion columns for major media outlets and is often asked to comment about his areas of expertise for television and major publications. Dean Roselle has been a good friend of Encore Learning, hosting us physically at the Shar School and encouraging his academic staff to teach some of our courses. Two of the most interesting courses I've taken at, at Encore Learning have been from his faculty. The Shar School also generously includes our members in many of their online webinars and other activities. He and George Mason deserve great credit and our thanks for all they do for the Northern Virginia community. So let me turn it over to Dean Roselle for a few words and an, in an introduction to another distinguished guest. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. I really appreciate that kind introduction. And I'm absolutely delighted that the Shar School has long had this collaboration with Encore Learning. Uh, as you pointed out, many of our faculty and also some of our doctoral candidates have taught courses for Encore. And it's just, as my colleagues tell me, wonderful to have an interested audience that's just so engaged and eager to learn. Uh, this is what we all feed off as, as professors, right? The uh, reaction that we get from the classroom, the interest in learning uh, of the students in the classroom. I myself co-taught one of the courses several years ago for Encore Learning with uh, actually Michael Hayden um, and, on national security and, uh, and executive powers. Uh, it, was a, it was a really fun experience for us. And I'm delighted to learn that several of my colleagues, again, are gonna be teaching during this academic year uh, for Encore Learning. So we're committed to keeping this collaboration going. Uh, we appreciate all that you have done too for uh, the Shar School. I know, uh, you know that we have a supportive scholarship uh, for our graduate students in the Shar School uh, that you've helped us with and we're deeply appreciative of that. And we will continue to um, work with you and, and provide some of our best people. I know Stephen Ruth has done many courses for you and Ed Rhodes has been one of our most interested people in teaching for Encore Learning. Uh, there's a long list, I hate to leave some of them out, but um, yeah, we have a number of faculty who eagerly have done this and reported that it was a really positive experience for them. So with that, uh, I'm going to introduce George Mason University's new president. So uh, I think somebody needs to put that slide up first uh, for, for this introduction. Uh, but I'm delighted now to introduce George Mason's president, Gregory Washington. Uh, Greg Washington became the eighth president of George Mason University on July 1st. And he came here as the uh, dean of the Henry Samueli School of Engineering at the University of California, Irvine and also the former interim dean of the College of Engineering at Ohio State University. Uh, Greg Washington launched his academic career at Ohio State University where he rose to uh, associate professor and then professor and then became the associate dean for research and also founded and led the university's Institute for Energy and the Environment. Uh, he's a prolific author 
uh, of more than 160 technical publications and journals edited volumes and conference proceedings. And he has conducted research for the NSF, NASA, General Motors, the Air Force Research Laboratory, and the US Army Research Office, among many others. Uh, Greg Washington is a first-generation college graduate and a New York City native who attended high school in North Carolina. And he earned his bachelor's, master's, and his PhD degrees all in mechanical engineering at North Carolina State University. So I'm delighted to welcome President Greg Washington. Greg? Well, it's a pleasure to be here. I, look, I, one, of, one of the big challenges you have in doing everything virtual is sometimes, first and foremost, uh, I want to welcome you on behalf of the more than 15,000 uh, faculty and staff and the more than 38,000 students here at George Mason University. Uh, I will tell you that uh, despite the pandemic, despite all of the challenges uh, that we are dealing with, and there are indeed many, um, this institution continues to thrive. I am amazed at what we continue to accomplish. Uh, we just got word that we took in uh, now our largest uh, class ever. Our enrollment is probably as high as it's ever been. And, uh, you know, you, you, and not all institutions are able to say that now, given the challenges that are in front of us. And, and, and you ask the question of what's setting Mason apart and, 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 and what is the, what, what's driving this? And it's the quality of instruction. It's the quality of education. And that directly correlates to our faculty being involved in uh, opportunities and entities like what, we're, what we have going on here with, with Encore Learning. And so uh, I am just ecstatic that we have uh, the opportunity to join and, and to be a part of this. Uh, I wanna thank all the organizers uh, uh, for this event. And I look forward to a fantastic event going forward. Um, if, if, if I may take just a few minutes just to highlight some of the reasons why this kind of endeavor uh, is so important and especially why it's so important now. Um, there are gonna be four trends that are gonna dominate our future. And, and we're starting to see uh, that come to pass in front of us right now. Um, the pace of automation will quicken. And uh, even before the pandemic, it was estimated that about 47% of our current market in terms of our current job market uh, was at risk. Um, there will be hundreds of thousands of people at the end of this. And, you know, just today, as I was coming in uh, 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 to GMU TV earlier this morning, uh, there was just a long list of layoffs. And we see yet another million people just over the past week filed for first time unemployment benefits. And uh, I, I think we might have had a week or two where we got below a million, uh, but it's been a million and up for the foreseeable future. Some of that is pandemic related, but not all of it. We are, we are seeing our economy and our job market be disrupted and be transformed. And, um, and so we'll have hundreds of thousands of people that will have no job to return to and those individuals are going to have to be re-educated, retrained, and upskilled in um, mecha uh, method, um, mechanisms and frameworks and infrastructure uh, like the ones that we are talking about here. It's going to be helpful to that. Um, public health will 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 be regarded as a true grand challenge, and we're going to see that receive the report the support it needs. And there's a whole education piece around that. Um, and, and, and then, you know, our life relative to the economy, well, relative to relationships, relative to relations, and relative to engagement and leisure will be much more virtual. Uh, I, I look out here and if I, can, if I can tell by what I see on my screen, there are literally hundreds of you that are involved 
uh, in this specific program. And I'm looking at more than 330 uh, participants. And uh, this will be a big part. It, might, it may not be our norm two years, three years from now, uh, but there will be some entities that will continue this legacy of engagement from a virtual perspective. It's, it's gonna make sense in a, in, in a whole host of venues as we move forward. Um, I am ecstatic uh, that we are a part of this mechanism right now because I feel, I, I feel very uh, comfortable that this will be one of the types of solutions that we'll look forward to uh, in our future. So again, I wanna welcome you. I wanna thank you uh, for participating here uh, uh, in this event on our campus today. And I look forward uh, to a great event. Thank you very much. Dr. Washington, thank you for, uh, for uh, coming today. And let me just say, I, I read your resume and uh, George Mason and uh, the Commonwealth of Virginia is extremely lucky to have a man of your talent uh, to head uh, Mason. And uh, I'm particularly impressed by your commitment to diversity. So uh, good luck in your, in your new job. And uh, we are all uh, behind you. Thank you. Thank you.